hackathon is a happening. Putting a bunch of people who would never work together in a room and having them start thinking differently. They bring together really a diverse set of personalities. There are really awesome things happening here. It's such an inspiring place to be. So we have three tracks at the hackathon this year. It's medicinal cannabis and hemp, healthcare with no address, and the third is wearables and data science. There are no technical requirements. Doctors, artists, nurses, auto mechanics, absolutely everyone is welcome. The people are there, they're excited, they're amped up, and they're ready to uh, come up with something that could change the world. Uh, my name is Alfred Atanda and I am a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at DuPont Children's Hospital. Alfred came with an idea uh, and a problem that uh, was tangible. I thought about it about five days ago <laughs> when I was in the operating room with an anesthesiologist and they were doing their nerve block before my procedure. They're always kind of asking the patient postoperatively, how are you feeling, how is your pain? But they don't ha really have an objective way to know how effective their block was and also when it's wearing off and running out. Alfred and I got to talking more about it and our target is children because it's harder for children to have kind of that preventative care in mind and then they wake up in a lot of pain. There's a gap in the care between when the local anesthetic wears off uh, after surgery and when the kids know that they need painkillers and the current way that that is handled is if a kid says that he's in pain, then you give him painkillers. The technology is there. It's very expensive. It's very cumbersome. It's very bulky. It's not portable. It's not cheap. And there's no way to continuously monitor people once they've left the operating room or the hospital. Uh, we basically want to conceptualize how we can make the existing technology portable, modular, small, in a way that can transmit information in order to help optimize their pain regimen after surgery. Our particular device that we are discussing right now would be more of a wearable strap kind of thing. We put a signal in, do we get a signal out? That's enough for us at this point. The, 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 the local anesthesiologist See how you do. Try to accelerate them. That's why this time around, I was like, so, that is, that is. Honestly, me and Alfred were always on the same wavelength in terms of keeping it simple, straight to the point. But I guess the people today just, I mean, they came in with a different mindset. So we have a couple of us that are crafting the deck, working on the story, building the business case. Uh, and then we have people that are working on the software side and people that are working on the hardware side. You know, we only have three minutes to pitch and sell something. Make people say, I want that without complicating it. So I'm making some different artboards on Sketch just to see what kind of looks better now that we've got over the functionality of it. So, and that would have three LEDs on it and that would go... No, I think things are moving pretty well. We're kind of solidifying our deck now and just getting a nice outline for our presentation tomorrow. We're going to hit up NextFab at 6 and uh, come up with a physical prototype or try to come up with a physical prototype. And that's about where we're at. We're taking a little break for the uh, <laughs> paper airplane contest. Next Fact is a very high-end eclectic makerspace here in southwest Philly, um, where people from all sorts of walks of life can come and tinker with a bunch of different tools and devices to make different things. And this is where we're going to kind of piece together the actual prototype that we're going to use for our pitch competition tomorrow. We simulate yeah, the lights going from you know, no lights, one light, two light, three light, over whatever time period you want to do. I think that was a good idea though, like at the end of the three minutes, um, full nerve function has come back, so like the anesthesia wore off. So this is going to be the transmitter, that's going to be the receiver, and we're going to have um, LED light boards in there that are going to light up as time goes on showing the patient when their nerve function is slowly recovering. And they're going to start off all off and as time goes on it'll light up one, light up two, and when they have full nerve function theoretically it'll all light up. We made a little bit of progress. Think this is, should we have them recess out more? What do you think? This is all really exciting. 
I couldn't tell you the last time I had this much fun in one day. What do you think of that? I just had a round off. I mean, that's the bottom, so I didn't round that off. Well, now we got to see if the electronic circuitry that we're having created up here is actually going to fit into our prototype. Moment of truth. Yeah, so what you might need to do is make a, uh, another piece that's the same outline that's just a little bit thicker on the back Get my drift glue in the door. as a cap. And then we can oh, and just put it over. Yeah. Okay. We'll steal this from you too. Thanks. Right, thank you. So next fab was quite the adventure. Um, most of us had never been there before. Uh, we had a lot of fun. And we were there at about 11.15 last night. We have a working prototype. No, we haven't practiced once yet, so I think it'll be really exciting. We have uh, Ethan, who's on the team, who's in the venture capitalist space, who kind of knows how these things work. So I'm going to talk about the business side of it uh, and the future plans. So Alfred's going to take the uh, problem and solution. He's intimately familiar with it. Um, and then I'll talk on the business side, what our plan is to get to market, um, and going forward, how we can envision the company growing. I feel really good. Um, like I said, I've never done anything like this, and it's been a nice 24, 36 hours or whatever it's been. And regardless of how the day turns out, I think uh, our team has done very well. We've all learned a lot, um, met a lot of cool people, and that is all very invaluable. Um, so I'm looking forward to my next hackathon, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's always uh, introduce your name, team name, and thanks. That's like, as a kickoff. Just, uh, we're, uh, we're getting ready to go to the pitch room and then practice there, so we're ready to go. We're here, it's game time, we're ready to go. We've prepared as much as we can prepare. Rams. And we're ready for the big time, so Team 17. You heard it here first. Good afternoon, uh, I'm Alfred Atanda, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon. This is my team, Team RAMS, Regional Anesthesia Monitoring System. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, present to you all and show you what we worked on this weekend. So in orthopedics, we often use regional anesthesia or nerve blocks uh, to help with post-operative pain management. The problem is there's no effective way to monitor how well the pain is. Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, when you're up there and talking, giving any kind of presentation, you always feel worse than what's actually happening. Uh, but I, I think we did pretty good. Uh, we had, you know, pretty good competition. There are a lot of good teams, a lot of talented teams, but uh, I think we were pretty diverse. Uh, everybody kind of had their role, and, you know, I think it kind of came together quickly in a nice, short, concise uh, talk. I was a little bit afraid we would go over time like some of the groups did, but uh, we kept it under three minutes, so that's always good. I thought um, we, we did pretty well in the pitch. I thought uh, um, we hit all the points we needed to. It seemed like the judges were responding pretty well. Um, felt pretty confident up there. Could be because of no, you guys did great, honestly. <laughs> I think you did okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we're back actually to where we started. This is where the team first assembled in Conley Auditorium. We're just getting some time to debrief and uh, kind of go through the presentations in our heads. The, the, the judges are now deliberating and coming up with the final winner. So it's a little bit anxiety provoking sitting here for 25 minutes just waiting, but it's a nice time to chat and kind of decompress. It, it definitely feels really good to be done, that's for sure. One of the coolest awards ever. And the winner of the wearables and data science track is Yeah, I mean, I, I've always thought of myself as an entrepreneur, and I have aspirations of growing my own startup, but I think I got a little bit of a taste of what actually that's going to mean, and uh, also learning that you don't always know exactly who's going to be the most successful, um, and who's going to come out on top, so you got to be prepared for when it's not you. But keep moving forward, and uh, don't let things slow you down, and jump over the hurdles and the obstacles, and try to achieve your goals. Don't ever give up, and follow your dreams. Don't be afraid of failure and uh, don't ever let any negative outcomes deter you from where you want to go.